Hey, how you doing, you beans? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. We're back on the How to Tame series where I'm going to be showing you how to tame an Equus, which is essentially the horse. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing fantastic. Um, and this one's going to be a little bit different. So, Equuses are passive tames. They will flee if you get too close. I uh, just like the Gigantopithecus. Hello. Oh, why have I got this here? So, the Equus are a passive tame. And there's a few ways that you can tame them. So, you have to sneak up to them, which is why we've got the ghillie suit on. Uh, but you can sneak up to them, and you have to get behind them, press E to feed them, jump on their back, and then feed them again um, once you're on their back. But, okay, first of all, let me just show you how to... So, the main way to tame them is with simple kibble. We'll just get straight into this. Uh, but the majority of you will probably use rock carrots, because simple kibble is a little bit further down the line, and you can tame equuses really early on in the game. So, to get rock carrots, then on some maps you can collect them uh, just from, like, grass, but the majority you'll have to build, like, a little crop pot and start doing it like this. So there's a couple of ways that you can make a crop pot or to make a little like farm. Uh, the way that I normally do it is like this. So you've got yourself a little farm there and then you chuck on your crop pots like this and then leave an entrance for the door. But what you need to do, you need to put a seed in here but you need a water supply. So this, you'd be making an intake pipe which I don't know if you've, this is a beginner's tut tutorial so maybe you've done this, maybe you haven't. Um, so you chuck in an intake pipe like this, you have another pipe coming up like that. All these pipes are early on in the game, so you get these at level 17. And you're going to need an intake pipe to intake the water. You're going to need some extra pipes just to travel it to where you need to go. Uh, but if you're building right next to the water source, then that is fine. And then you need like a stone pipe tap. Or if you've got metal, if you're at the metal stage, use a metal pipe. So then this will start putting out water, and it will, and it will start to um, irrigate crop pots nearby so as you can see this one is now at 600 or 600 irrigation which is water these ones are out of range so they will not get the water as of yet um, and then what you need to do is you need to chuck in a seed so we've got a rock carrot seed right now so we chuck that in there as long along with poop or fertilizer now poop or fertilizer uh, there's a few ways that you can make that so right here is a compost bin now i've used the s plus one for a reason because it shows you the recipes so to make compost you need three feces and 50 thatch and that will make one compost over time so you can't just craft it straight away it takes a while um so three feces and as you can see in the um in the description the nitrogen is 5000 uh, 54000 so that's how much will be added to this so you see where it says not fertilized that's how much what will be added so the idea is that you've chucked this you chuck your seed in here so we've got a rock carrot seed which you'll get from just gathering normal plants just gather a bunch of plants if you've got a mount that can harvest plants keep doing that eventually you'll be lucky and get a rock carrot seed you make a crop pot, you chuck the seed into the crop pot along with fertilizer or poop. Fertilizer is like, it's a it's a lot better way of doing it. But if you've only got poop uh, from dinos or yourself, chuck that in there. That will fertilize it and then it will start to grow. So you'll have your water, your fertilizer and your seed. But as you can see at the bottom, there is a greenhouse effect, which is zero, zero. Um, so that will increase how fast it grows if you have a greenhouse effect. And you could do that by making greenhouse components. So if we go to greenhouse, these are all the greenhouse components. You need to be between level 40 and 50. And really, all you need is the top layer to be done. So you make a little foundation like this. You chuck your crop pots on. This is like if you want more than one. And then you start chucking this around. Now, you probably want to make these too high so you can actually get in here with ease. So you do it like that. We're going to put the ceiling on, which is going to be the main part. Most people will only put the ceiling on so you won't have the walls. Uh, but at any moment now, greenhouse effect should start. I'm just going to fill in all this. Here we go. So you have greenhouse effect 300%. So now if we chuck our pipes in outside, that should be that should be close enough to get water. It is? Okay. And then we're just going to put our little thing on the end of there. So now all this is will be irrigated in a moment. There we go. 600 water, 600 water. We're then going to chuck our seed in. And then we've got fertilizer in our inventory. So we're just going to click E on there. And as you can see... It's fertilizer is going up by the amount stated on the fertilizer and that will keep it growing You need the fertilizer for it to keep growing and you need the water supply constantly for it to keep growing Now that will grow now that will take a few uh, Maybe it would depend on your rates a few hours to maybe a day <laughs> to, For that to grow so that's if that's how you get rock carrots if you can't find them on the map to collect them yourself You just put the seed in you put the fertilizer in and when it's fully grown as you can see at the moment It says that it's seedling once it's a fully grown plant it will start producing rock carrots over time. So that is a very quick introduction to farming to get yourself rock carrots if you don't know how to get rock carrots. Uh, but we have rock carrots and we're going to be using simple kibble for today. 
So what you want to do is, for your Equus, when you find one, you want to go and grab some simple kibble or rock carrots and chuck it in your last inventory slot, which is down here. Um, and now I'm just going to go back up there and show you the rest. Okay, so there's a couple of ways that you can trap an Equus. So as soon as you jump on an Equus or get close, they will flee, which is not good. So you could use an RG to pick them up and put them into a trap. Because when you jump on their back, you have no control over them. And they will just keep running around and you may hit danger. So if we pick this guy up right now, if you spook them, they will all run. Normally you'll see them in packs like this. If I spook this guy, they will all run. It's sort of like a pack mentality. Uh, like the Morellatops, when it finally has no pack, it will start running. So what you do is you chuck that into there. Uh, not miss. <laughs> okay, so now you have to get in there and jump on its back. Now this will stop it from running off. So I will show you the other way first, just so you're more likely going to be in the wild doing this. Okay, because I am playing on really high taming rates on this world, I have spawned in some citronol, which is not its favorite food. So I can show you the full process of jumping on the back of an Ecarus. So we've got the ghillie suit on, so we got this a little bit easier. What I'm going to do is we're going to get close to this. As long as we don't spook any of them, because as soon as we spook one, they're all going to run. I'm going to focus on this guy. So once you get close enough... Ignore the fact that Aberrant, I just spawned in Aberrant once. Press Citronol, move closer to Ride, and now it's on its back. You press E again, as you see in the bottom right hand corner, um, you've got an effectiveness and taming. That will flash to press E when you need to. So you press E to start the tame, you have to get close and jump on its back, and then press E again straight away before it kicks you off. If it kicks you off, you lose taming effectiveness. And if you press E prematurely like that, you'll also get kicked off. So if you jump back on, obviously now we've got a less one, it said press E again. Um, and that was just for demonstration purposes. So that's what will happen. It will run around when you have no control. So let's go back to this one over here. And just show you that again. So you get close enough. You press E. You move closer. You ride it. You press E again. And as you can see, we had 100% tame effectiveness. And on these rates, it's 32% tamed. But you'll probably get about 10% tame each time. Now you just look at the bottom corner. I'm not controlling this guy at the moment. He's running around freely as can be. Um, I'm just literally on the back for the right. So this is why sometimes you want to trap them. So as you can see there, it said press E again. You just got to be quick, otherwise it will book you off. Um, you want to just focus in the bottom right hand corner. where Because that's where it's going to tell you to press E and it will flash. So I'm going to jump off this one and cancel the taming. And we're going to go over to this one. So this is the one that we trapped in here. And I'm just going to show you in a trapped environment how you're going to do it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not too close to the horse. There we go. So you don't want to spook it because it's a closer, in, a closer area. You're going to spook it a little bit more. Uh, make sure you close the gate behind you. That would be interesting. And you want to try to get as close as possible. As you can see, it's not running around. We're going to press E. We're going to move closer. Click right. And then press E again. And there you go. We're now on the taming. And now it's trapped, so it's not going to run off. And we're just going to look in that bottom corner and wait to press E again. And there we go. It is tamed. So let's talk about a few of the Equus abilities. So there is a saddle for this guy. You can ride them just like this without having a saddle on. Or you could get a saddle, which the saddle is level. Level 20, you can get the saddle. Then we're going to chuck the saddle on here right now. What the saddle allows you to do is while on its back, you have now the crafting ability of like... You can craft stuff like a pestle of mortars. You can get preserving swords, you can make narcotics on the fly. Um, you can make all this on the fly, which is pretty cool. Now, um, you could also make a lasso. Which is actually pretty cool. So let me make a lasso for you right now. So this creature can harvest berries, thatch, and wood. So if you run up to a plant and left click, you could do this. Which, as you can see, we've got some more rock carrot seeds there. So you can collect berries. If you go up to a tree and left click, you'll get thatch. And on this one, if you click left click, you get more thatch than one. So it's not very good at wood, but it's very good at berries. It's also got another attack. So we've just peed these guys off, so we'll do that. It's got a right click attack. Which is, does this kind of move. So your left click is like the front. Your right click is this. And it's also got a C, which is like a roar. There we go, pretty cool. And I think if you've got a pack, that may do a pack bonus. But I'm not 100% sure. But the right click and the back hit will knock creatures out. For example, you see this Lystro? We're just going to hit it a couple of times. Okay, so this guy's not really going to run off that much. If he's not going to die, it should knock it out. There we go. So as you can see, it is unconscious right now. Now, you can't tame this guy unconscious. So that's why nothing else is there. But the right click will knock stuff out if it's got enough health to withstand it. So that's pretty cool. So you can just keep right clicking stuff, especially small things. You can keep doing this and just knock them out really quick, which is pretty cool. This guy has really slow stamina drain. So you can travel quite far on this. And with the jump, you can travel quite fast if you like. 
You know what it's like on Fortnite where everyone just keeps doing the jump. Yeah, you can just keep doing that. Your stamina's gonna go for ages. These guys have got some good damage as well. So, I mean, you're not gonna have to worry about running into too much. And you can outrun the majority of stuff if you do up speed. Um, and as I said earlier, you can make lassos as well as other stuff that you can make in a pestle and mortar. We have a lasso right now. And a lassos could only really be made in their infantry. Um, and you don't, I don't think you need the engram. But as you put it on like that, you instantly start swinging. And this is to trap small creatures. Or, um, I mean, like, we probably can trap another horse, to be honest. So let's try and trap one of these guys down here. So I'm going to put the lasso on. And we chuck it at this guy. There's no way that I missed that. <laughs> All right, try again. Here we go. We got it. So now it's trapped, and it will come with you. So you can drag it to another location, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And you can do that for majority of small to medium-sized creatures. Like, I reckon it would work on a parasaur. And um, obviously, on anything smaller than a horse, it will work on. But you can just drag it wherever you want to go. And if you t if you just click off the, the item, so if you press 5 again and got rid of the lasso, then it will let go of the creature. Um, and it will use one per time. Now, I'm in creative mode, that's why it's not using one per time. But it will use one per time. So, for example, if we go to this guy, bloop, we've attached ourselves, and then we're going to just run, and he's going to be dragged along. <laughs> so you can just drag up to areas that you want, which is pretty useful. I mean, it's only like a couple of fiber and thatch, so it's not like it's super expensive to make these. But if you want to tame something small, uh, but there's evil stuff around, this will be great for getting them out the way. So I know this has been like a little scattered of the video because we started with how to do certain things with farming and then we moved over to the uh, equuses and I showed you multiple ways. Hopefully this makes sense though. Um, that's how to tame an equus in like quite in depth for beginners. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to become a human being. And I'll see you in the next episode if I designate. I'm poised.